What's up, Long Beach? Welcome back to LBPostSports.com. It's JJ from Long Distance as over the river and through the woods to Durham, North Carolina we go as Long Beach State men's basketball hits Tobacco Road to see the number seven Blue Devils at Duke University founded in 1838 by James Buchanan Duke, home to some incredible architecture where, according to ESPN, some players carried some weights in their backpacks or something. But this isn't a time to awe at architecture or take pictures with your cell phones. This is serious business, people. This is college basketball, and this is Krasuskiville, where it's never too early to wait in line in a sleeping bag. A college basketball mecca where the lore and the tradition is sometimes just daunting and where they pack in a lot of people into a matchbox size arena they call Cameron Indoor Stadium. So that's the backdrop as Long Beach State wraps up the 2009 preseason schedule with its fourth top 10 team in two months. Coach Munson called it the Washington Generals Tour and even though it's winter break on campus the line two hours before the game, a country mile long, as Long Beach State walks the walkway and goes through the doors of the visitor's locker room where some of basketball's royalty has prepared to take the floor. And I, I used the word daunting a little bit earlier, but you know, I'm, I'm just gonna let Cameron speak for itself. Barely 10,000 at capacity, they pack them in. Media up top, aisleways that a lot of people wouldn't fit through. Standing room only, and the rafters are filled too. You want storylines? They've got storylines. That's the G-Man right there. Mike Gminski, before his 4-3, was hung in the rafters and before he rocked the mullet in the NBA. 30 years ago, he rocked the devil blue and beat Long Beach State the last time these two schools met. Some of Long Beach State's finest in the stands. A nice little group. Gonna have to try to out-yell the rugby team, or the, the band, and the Cameron Crazies who are filling in for the Cameron Crazies who aren't actually there. That's a nice little dance, fellas. A little two-step. Nice hats as well, very manly. Uh, okay, that dance is way better though. <laughs> and that hat definitely takes the cake. But all things aside, it's a basketball game and Long Beach State needs to be ready. So many years I've been doing this. I think I've always said, you know, let's talk about them first and then worry about us. I think today for the first time, you know, I want to talk about us first. Because I think what happens in these games too much, we worry so much about them that we forget who we need to be. It's got to be your attitude. You control your attitude and your effort. You can't control anything else when you walk out of here. And the biggest thing, too, is, is again, just like at, at Kentucky, it's time we go have fun. And having fun is being prepared. <coughs> having fun is giving the best effort. They cannot, you got no chance if they play harder than you. No chance. Okay? So you got to control what you can control. You got to be on the floor. You got to get every loose ball. You got to continue to fight when you're tired and then let somebody else fight for you. Okay? Link up as a chain, be the strongest chain. Let's go get it done. Come on. To be the stronger chain against this 9 and one Duke squad, a very tall task, especially against those two guards, number 30, John Shire, and number two, Nolan Smith. <laughs> That's number one, Coach K. Half surprised they didn't carry him onto the court with the ovation he got as Coach Munson pays his respects and the voice of Michael Buffer, yes, that Michael Buffer, introduces the Duke Blue Devils. In the early going, it was Coach Munson's worst fear come to light as Shire lays it off for Nolan right here. And Duke was just playing harder than Long Beach was. 10-4 early lead as the crazies get involved. And it's not Murphy's law, it's kind of Cameron's law. What can go wrong will go wrong. Long Beach State racked up eight turnovers and eight personal fouls in the first half while Duke fell in love with the corner three. Shire pours that one in, 27-9 the early lead as Smith adds another. And Big Z, Brian Zobek, and some. Two of his 10, he also had 12 rebounds and uh, a block and uh, another block. 
and uh, that's not goaltending apparently and that's not a foul but either way seven blocks for Duke on the night you can see the height discrepancy right there and when you are outmanned like that things like that happen and on that corner like common goodness me 27-9 like I said the biggest lead crazy towel guy loves it but Long Beach State the story of the night would not go quietly great pass from Greg Plater to Casper Ware Eugene Phelps nice little stroke right there and a beautiful dime from Ware to TJ Robinson right before the buzzer it could have been a lot worse than 20 points but that's what what it was at halftime 45-25 in the second half, you got to say that the Beach Boys in black came to play. Duke stopped making every shot they were taking. The Beach started playing some team ball, and LAX did his best Steve Nash. Finding TJ underneath for the reverse, two of his ten. On the other end, Eugene Phelps takes the charge, and the defense was the difference. Namely, Greg Plater. Oh, for the love of elevation. One block, he also had two steals and two assists, but the transition game was a B-E-A beautiful as Greg Plater puts that one in and then gets all three of these 13 points off the bench for the senior. A spark plug to be sure, but so was Jesse Woodward and Liz Daskis. Everybody was playing well in the second half in the transition. <laughs> LAX clear for flight path. Long Beach pulled within 13 points in the second half but it would just not be enough with Shire making shots like these and Oak Hill's finest just dialed in from outside. Nolan Smith 4 for 6 from behind the arc for 19 points. Shire 6 three-pointers for a team-high, game-high 22 points. 15 trays for the Dukies. They love playing in that building. How can you not? Duke an 84-63 victory over the visiting Long Beach State 49ers. I'm glad we're hitting the league on Saturday. When top 10 is pretty good. You know, I was proud of the second half. I thought our guys, you know, could have caved in. And they showed that they've been in these games and that they have some fight. This is a truly a preseason for us. You know, we're going to win bid league, and uh, you know, obviously we're trying to just worry about getting that bid, and we got to get better. And these games help us. Uh, you know, Duke is. Duke has a season of, you know, their, their whole resume is, but, but ours is, starts on Saturday. On to the Big West for the black and gold, and live from Durham, this has been JJ Fiddler for LBPostSports.com. <laughs> no, seriously, for all your Long Beach State men's basketball news and updates, you're in the right place. Just stay here. We'll see you guys in Not 10.